Okay, the last part guys, for, for 100% this will be the last part and in this part we'll make everything refined, everything will look good, I hope, and yeah, uh, yeah guys, <laughs> let's go. So first thing I want to do, I'm just, don't follow me now. I'm just experimenting to see if he will look uh, cool if he has like flat flat uh, mouth I would say okay I think we can add some more muscles here so we can use the clay strip and add some muscles make them stronger here and we can smooth them out and let's do it again and now we have to redefine the shape of the lip so use the actually we can use the pinch tool so here and we can pinch it to make this M shape but sometimes it works better sometimes it works worse so again I will use the crease brush I think so I will crease it here and crease it here let's see from the side yeah, it looks better with the crease brush. So I will just crease it like this and let's see from the side. Okay, now let's move this part or to the front. Not like. Let's see if this. Okay, I'll, maybe we can move it more to the back a bit, like this, and yeah, this is now looking fine, again, crease brush, just a bit, just like that, and now let's go and let's smooth this, and we can now really make the high detail. So I will change it now, after we've done everything, I can change it to be, let's say, let me check 50, it's okay, I think, now let's make it 60, even, 60, 60 is nice, okay, let's make it 60, and now save your files before you do this, because it can crash your uh, blender, and now let's detail flat fill and it did crash my blender such a nice expected thing so give me guys a second I will come back am I recording this yeah I am <laughs> I was so scared that I did I've been not recording this so let's toggle full screen and let's go let's go yeah so again enable line topo change to it was it 60 or 70 because I don't remember 60 it was 60 but I will change it to 70 and let's detail flat fill it and okay it's detail flat filling and now it should be fine so let's save the file and let's smooth this okay it's it's very high detail my uh, a very high detail guys so I will smooth everything out so you have very smooth very smooth sculpt and now after you smoothed everything we can actually uh, we can actually turn off the dine topo and we'll work on without dying topo so we will just refine the things so first thing I tools that I use to refine the shapes is pinch brush which is this one and I just make the corners more sharp by just drawing it so you can see that this is quite sharp now and let me pinch the eye area so top lip top eyelid you can see now I pinch it 
so it, it's quite sharp and now I want to use the crease brush to make this visible to make this bottom eyelid visible because you can't really see it now and then I'll change to pinch brush and pinch it closer to each other so like this maybe it's too much so I will smooth this below the bottom lip so I'll smooth this now let me use the crease brush to crease it here so I crease it here so we have this nice area and let's use the sculpt draw and yeah we make this cor cornea area so so let's 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 move on let me use the grab brush to grab this part more down and this part more up so you have this this shape this kind of shape and where is the connection ah this let's use the crease brush to make this part more separated from the top lip like this and also here it should go like this and let's use this sculpt draw brush to draw this meat here let's go to the front okay it's not bad it's not good it's not bad and here you can also draw this meat area and it's still looking weird so let's use the pinch brush to pinch it here like this Okay, so now let's move on to the different part. We'll come back to this later. So next part is the nose. Here we can pinch it a bit. And let's move it. And what else can we pinch? The nose area here. So let's pinch from here to here. And even we can make a crease here and like let's make the crease go to the inside of the nose because uh, yeah here you have this connection between the the inner nose and and the nostril yeah nostrils I would say like this something like this and this part should go down a bit like this bridge should go down so okay we can sculpt it here so just Use this cold draw brush and let's just draw a geometry here. Let's see from the front, it's not looking good from the, the side, I think. Let's draw it here and here I can just delete it a bit. Let's see from the front, from the side, it looks weird. So let's pull it down and also we can pull this down right. okay let's move this more to the side to the middle like this and yeah it's it's okay it's looking nice let's move this and let's move this part also let's see let's use the pinch brush to pinch this crease here like this and also to pinch this crease on from your nose like this and now we want to pinch the the mouth so it, sh it should go from here it should go up and it, then it should go down like this and let me smooth this part and let's move to the bottom lip so it should start from here and it should go here and let's move this a bit let's see yeah it's okay and let's use the crease brush to crease it below the lip like a little bit only so you can see the separation 
let's use the place strip to delete the geometry here a bit and it's looking okay and here we can also make a crease so it will connect better and now make a crease in the middle in between so it will be a bigger crease so here something like this so you can see that this is very refined now let's work on the nose a bit here you have this weird thing and we don't want that so use the crease brush like this to delete it and what else can we do the ear the ear the, the area we should work on but first let's move this part the ear i think i will can i, I will make this ear quite flat so i will use the scrape scrape brush and i will smooth this make this flat quite flat so he will has have a more stylized touch to him and let's make the hole here so use the sculpt draw make this hole even more visible like this and here there should be a hole now let's smooth this part and smooth this part also and we can even pull out this part to to make it more visible like this yeah and now it reminds more the ear and i want to separate this part so you can see the y more clearly yeah so you have the y you have the and uh, this here there shouldn't be a hole so let's just move this and just draw and smooth this i think i have a mistake here because it, it doesn't want to be be connected but where what is the problem so let me just no okay there's some problem here i, I don't know what i'll just fill it okay there's a weird hole here but i can't fix it because it's broken i think we can change it later okay so let's add the hole here again of this and let's see from the side it's looking it's looking okay also we can make this more visible so let's use the crease brush to separate this part like this and also to make this connection more visible so like this so you have this this part that is sticking out and let's move this more to the right to the left and let's move this and it should be close enough for the ear let's flatten this part also from the, from the other side so just use the scrape brush and flatten it and now we can delete the geometry here so use the clay strip brush to delete the geometry like this and let's smooth this out it's not the perfect ear uh, ever not like most of the stuff here is not perfect but you just have to work on your own like i just so show you the basics and then you can work on your own so let's move this part now it's now smoothed and guys i think we are done we are finished so you have the basic mail let's see what else can we do here maybe we can add a, a crease so if you want we can add a crease to make his eyebrows more visible but more or less we are done with the cat with the f f face so yeah it was really 
let's move this part it's really fun or I think you know guys what I, I we can spend a little bit more time on on the neck so I will I will have the the leg the neck part now done so let's let's go to let's move this part let's use the snake hook brush and let's just drag I hope it will not crash so save your file I'll drag this part more to the right so let's make the smaller brush like this and it didn't crash so we'll have some some kind of this shape so we will make a statue from it let's pull this down oh so we have something like V shape like V but with with this <laughs> square thing so let's use the scrape brush and let's flatten this part and also here so you have this very nice flattened thing and from behind also you can flatten it like this so we have something like a bust of a person and yeah that is it guys i think it's okay oh no no let's let's work on the adam's apple so here use the crease brush to draw a crease here because basically you have an apple crease brush uh, apple, adam's apple here and I will use the clay strip brush to draw these muscles here that are here. So I'll just use the clay strip brush to draw the muscles here. They start from the neck, like from the jaw, like here, and they end somewhere here. So just make them visible at least like this and we can crease them so it will be something like this so it will stick more look more like a neck and here you have this transition to the biceps like this maybe you can add the by using scope brush the Adam's apple even more visible so like this and let's move this part so it will not stick out too much yeah so we will just move this and let's make a V shape like here yeah I think that is it guys this will be the this is the basic head and I hope you you learned a lot and you will keep sculpting that's oh my gosh I'm not still not happy with the shape of this but we just have to okay I just have to leave it because I will do it too much and make it even worse okay something like this is okay it's not perfect but it's okay so yeah sorry guys <laughs> okay so this is the head that we've done I think it's looking great like it's looking very good uh, for the first time and I hope you learned a lot and uh, if you would like to see more more tutorials of sculpting just let me know in the comments and I will teach you guys how to do it so yeah I hope it was fun so let's save the file and see you guys in the next one bye